preparations. There are a few things you need to do before you start making exercises. The very first thing is to create a folder that will hold your exercises because that will make it much easier when you put it onto the internet later on. I go to the local disk C where I create a new folder. I call the new folder exercises one and there it is. Should I want to use graphics in my exercises then it is a good idea to copy the, the graphics to this area as well because that will make it easier to make sure that all the files are there when I send them to the internet. You also need to decide if you want a content page that can be used for navigation to other web pages. The typical name for a content page would be index.htm or default.htm. This is also the time where you have to decide how many exercises do you want to make and what type of exercises. It is important to decide on some names of the final exercises. For instance, the first crossword exercise could be called cross1.htm. The first close exercise could be called close1.htm. The reason why it's important to decide on these names is that you would want to link from one exercise to the next exercise and also you would be able to link back again. I plan to make five HTM pages or web pages for the content folder called Exercises 1. The main page will be a navigation page that will link to the text and exercises. The name of that one will be index.htm. The reason for choosing the name index.htm is that by default most websites will automatically load that page when you go to a folder. The main content page with the information that will be used for exercises will be a text and video page that I have named index underscore en dot htm. The reason for that name is that it will be a page that will hold video and text and all the text will word by word be linked to an English English online dictionary. The content page will then link to a crossword exercise and that will be named cross1.htm. From that page one can press the back arrow and go back to the content page or it is possible to go to the content page that is the navigation page. When the crossword has been filled in a student will press on the next button and that will take the student to the close exercise named close1 which again links back to the navigation page and also to the crossword page. The close exercise will then link on to the maths exercise called maths1.htm. Again that page can link to the navigation page like all other pages. The final page will be a mixed sentence exercise called mix1.htm. Preparing the content when you have found some text files that you want to use, that could be a web page or a file from a word processor, you need to clean the text for hidden extras. Hidden extras, that's information that is hidden below the word, for instance a link to another web page or information in word like a bold letter etc. To remove and clean that text, you need to copy the text to notepad and when it is needed in Hot Potatoes, you copy back from Notepad and paste it into Hot Potatoes.